Okay, so the uh, last tutorial, what we did was uh, we built the OAT++ uh, library uh, and not actually had a project. Sorry about that. That was a misconception in the uh, previous uh, video. Um, but we were able to build and do all the tests in uh, Visual, Visual Studio. I mean, <clears throat> using the Visual Studio G++ um, and its build system and everything using CMake. So now let's talk about, let's actually get a full um, service going. So the first thing what I'm going to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull down that service. So right here, this is that git, you do a git clone. And um, let's pull that down. So now that we pulled it down, um, what we're going to do is um, actually, and then let's go into the OAT PP starter. And so right here is what they give you out of the back. Now, what's really important is the utility piece right here, because if you don't have the OAT PP in here, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pull the OAT PP down and you're going to have to compile it again. Okay, so while we're at it, let's... Uh, save us some time and actually to get a to get an idea of what you actually have to do uh, what you can do is I got my um, visual code open so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the folder and I am going to uh, go and open that folder up so now that we did our clone let me go and find my folder <clears throat> and I think it's under application and then right here let's see no nope, projects so let's go to projects and then uh, what I'm gonna do is go to the uh, old PP2 and then the starter and bring that up okay all right so right here um, they mentioned the utility module right here but this is the problem with the utility module um, we we cannot run this <laughs> we cannot run this right here but what we can do is we can take the um, instructions from this utility module and run our CMake and get everything up and running and everything so what I'm gonna do is this is that clone for the old the old uh, PP library right here and this is kind of like the module name so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that clone so now that you got the getting started okay and um, another thing I want to point out is this right here is the actual source here's your controllers right here this is all the code for the controllers this is that DTO that I mentioned in the last like the out-of-the-box DTO this is the actual uh, driver right here for the actual server okay and this is that header file for the driver and then there's some docker stuff in here and then this is that actual CMake that we have right here okay and later on we're gonna actually alter this CMake a little bit so first let's uh, pull down that um, let's pull down that uh, the old library the framework so we can actually compile this so what I'm gonna do is I should have that command in here and I do it right next to the source. So what I'm gonna do is take it and uh, pull it down. Let's see. There we go, right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the old PP down from here, and uh, I'm gonna actually put it in this folder right here, and then I'm gonna follow those instructions that was in here. So remember, um, what we do is we CD into the old PP, kind of like what we did last time and um, this is the actual framework library okay so what we do is we do a make dire and then we do a build we make we do build kind of following the instructions right here so see how we cd into the module we cd to the build and then this right here is what we run in cmake so in the cmake what i can do is just take this right here and possibly run this right here so what I can do is put that in there 
and uh, what I can do is uh, run it from here and so uh, the build type is release and then we turn the build tests off so it's not gonna build the test I'm assuming it's not gonna build the uh, test files and all of that it's just gonna build that library for us <clears throat> so after it builds that library for us what we can do is we can go so the library is built so what we can do is go back out whoops go back out and uh, into the starter and uh, right here in the starter we make a build for this as well so we do a make dire build and fingers crossed and let's CD into the build and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a C make so right here if you go and look there is a C make file that you get out of the box right here so what we're gonna do is take that C make file okay and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a C make and we're gonna do the light the um, we're gonna point it to the directory behind it okay so we're gonna point it to the OPP start directory starter directory we're gonna run the C make and what we might have to do is run a build too, run the C make build as well but we'll see if our CMake um, libraries automatically um, find that um, actual uh, library, the OPP library. And so right here, what I want to do is, and if you notice, if we do a LSLRT in the build folder, it actually built our solution here. So what I can do is I can do a CMake and then um, the current directory and then dash dash build I might got it backwards yeah, I got it backwards C make dash dash build and we're gonna run it from here and let's see what it does for us so see it's picking up our controller file and everything but let's see if it pick up the OPP library as well Look like we might have some okay just we just got some warnings but let's see what happens and the warnings could be because I'm using the other uh, Visual Studio I'm using I'm not using 2017 so let's just see if that actually matters or not so see how it says that OPP library is not found at all so what I might have to do is go into the CMake right here and I might have to include that in there so what I can do is this library right here so when it acts for it includes in the library actually uh, it'd be hold on okay so what I might have to do is <clears throat> I'm gonna have to uh, make it where it can find that OPP lib so maybe I can do this let's go backwards and uh, let's go to the O right here and now that we did the build what we can do is go into this build and we can possibly do a target at the install so if I go back to here so I did the release and uh, I might can do target install or something like that so let's do this Let's go here and uh, let's do the C make. Um, let's see what, what was my target last time. What did I do to install that target? Okay, so like right here. So see how we got the target install? Um, I got this backwards right here. Uh, okay so when you run into this right here uh, what I usually do is I go over to where we built it at this old right here um, and then I go to the build Oops, it's not opening up for me for some reason if you build let's see let's do an LS LRT oh it erased it all that's what happened so let's go back and do the
And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to do the CMake. Okay. I didn't like it at all. Hmm. So let's go back to our instructions. Guess I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I had it up and running. So we got our instructions. <clears throat> ah, I see. I see what's going on. So right here, this is what we have to do. Let's rerun this right here. And uh, let's go right here. Hmm. Let's do this. And uh, so we have our CMake files right here. And uh, I'm actually in the oat right now. And then let's CD back to the build. And let's do a LSLRT. Okay. So it looks like we have it here. That's the old and uh ha <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> so uh I didn't build everything in the build, I built everything out here. Um so what I'm gonna do is let's do this. Let's go backwards, let's remove the uh old PP and then let's do another clone. Start from scratch. Because uh, I kind of screwed that up. So we got right here, we pull our old PP down, and then we do a CD, old PP, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a, um, we're going to make the build die. Because uh, we don't want other files to get tangled up in there. And then we're going to follow those instructions again, which is right here. We go into the module, build, and then right here, we do this CMake right here. Let's grab that CMake, build the release, let's paste it, let's get it to build. Okay. All right, so let's see what happens. So let's see if it built it out here. So it built what we wanted to build in here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do an install. I'm gonna do a CMake install. So that target that we had out here, I'm gonna do, I think I can do it this way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, build this out. And this part right here um, is not really in the instructions. I kinda had to figure it out a little bit, I think. Um, I had to play around with it and figure it out in the previous, I mean in the, uh, when I did a lot of the trial testing to learn how everything works and stuff like that. Uh, if you notice, it's a bit slow <clears throat> because we want to do that whole install. So hopefully after this, we can actually run our uh, project. And uh, I might have to be kind of dirty about it and put the OA, the OAT, uh, lib or something like that or whatever it produces and put it into the um, source file which I don't want to do that the source folder so and this is why I didn't like I really don't like doing it this way but I have better ways of doing it and uh, that's when we start getting the cone in where we can actually um, we can actually um, build it the way it should I think it should be built uh, and doing all this git stuff and pulling modules down I feel that we shouldn't be doing it that way 
but at the same time, if you do it the other way, you can have some type of control over uh, what modules you're going to use. Uh, and then if those modules get upgraded, you don't have to worry about it on the build. Unless you, like, um, make sure you're specific about the uh, actual uh, version that you're using. Uh, and that's what I like about the Conan part, where you can actually um, use a specific version. You don't have to rely on Git to have a version that um, that is not compatible with what you're using. Um, so, okay, let's see. Look like it's installing everything. So everything looked like it installed everything. So let's go backwards and uh, let's go to the starter and uh, let's go into the CD build and in the starter uh, what I like to get rid of is there might be a cache file in here let me make sure that there's not a CMake so this CMake cache file right here I'm gonna get rid of that I want a fresh build Uh, I ran into that a lot um, where I'm thinking I'm building new things but I'm not okay and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the CMake build the CMake uh, we do the dot dot slot dot dot uh, dot dot which is the previous uh, previous directory And once we gather all that, then what we'll do is we'll do the uh, CMake build on this directory right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the build and let's see if we have any luck. Okay, look at that. It built our exe file right here. And uh, what I can do is take this this uh, entire uh, path. And uh, let's just copy it. I feel like being lazy. So I'm going to go over here and uh, copy it. Paste it out there. Oh, I guess it didn't like it. Um, let's see. Let me try one more time. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just go... Uh, debug so if you go CD if you CD into the debug and uh, if you CD into actually so here are the debug right here so you have the test exe and then the exe that we want is right here I don't like how dirty I had to be to actually do to uh, actually get it running but now we have our server up and running and right here is our hello world Okay. Um, I don't have the extension on this because I'm in incognito mode. I'm usually the extension to make it look kind of pretty. Um, so now uh, let's go and look at some of the structure right here. So if you go through here, you can actually see the structure and how we're what we have to do to add new libraries and stuff like that. Um, one thing I'm not too happy about is the fact that what we had to do to do a build like that. And we shouldn't have to do that. And I shouldn't have to guess everything that I have to do. So if I didn't know CMake and all of that, then I wouldn't have been able to figure that out. Um, so we got everything up and running. Uh, we got the Hello World running. Um, we talked about our structure and everything. And uh, that's it.